What is up guys? First of all, everybody, happy new year. All the best wishes for 2022. I hope um, everybody will have plenty of tight lines. Um, as you may notice, we're starting to put out some content again. Um, really trying to get into uh, creating some more videos. Uh, so yeah, that's something to be expected. Uh, we got a new camera, actually shoots 4K, although I think I like the settings in 1080 better, but uh, we'll sort of figure it out. It's brand new, I actually got it today, so we'll see. Um, today's just a quick video. We're actually uh, showing how to do a improved loop knot. Um, this one is especially good for if you fish some thicker leaders and with smaller lures, or like um, fluorocarbon leader, where it's a little stiffer. Uh, your traditional loop knot might sort of hang off to one side and it may affect the action negatively of your the action of your fishing lure. Um, with the improved one, it sits, the loop sits completely straight uh, in relation to the line. It's a symmetrical loop. Uh, very easy to do, so uh, let's get going. Alrighty guys, so um, the whole idea about this video is to show a way that may actually improve uh, the uh, way you can tie a loop knot. Uh, loop knots are very useful for a wide variety of uh, fishing lures but they really shine in um, uh, leader to hard bait connections uh, mainly for the reason that uh, a lot of these hard baits like this uh, jerk bait right here and this one right here uh, need a bit of freedom of movement uh, while being retrieved and so um, the connection knot is quite vital to the action of the lure um, if the, the the leader is quite thick um, it may definitely affect the action uh, in a negative way so um, first I'll start with your traditional loop knot now I've got some 50 pound leader line here um, as you can see here I've already tied um, the granny knot that starts off your regular loop knot um, this is just a simple overhand granny knot real straightforward as you can see but as you may also be able to see you can already see that that line is curving downward from your line this would be your main line right here and you can see that that where that loop is going to um, be formed that line is already going downward so let's just finish it up let's just connect it to one of these jerk baits right here Now obviously in this situation these jerk baits actually have a ring on the nose and that will already aid in um, how they swim but certain jerk mate models don't um, and so yeah, knowing how to tie a proper loop knot is key so let's uh, continue on so this would be how you'd fit your regular loop knot through you'd have a granny knot you'd loop it through the connection eye right here comes through now there's a couple of varieties but um, Get that hook out of my hand. A couple of ways you could finish it up. I like to hold the granny knot right there. And then just do, depending on the thickness of the leader, do a couple of wraps. This is actually 50 pound, which is really heavy uh, for your jerkbait fishing. Unless you're fishing for barramundi or something. And then ideally you feed it through. I don't know if you can see this, if it sharpens up. You can feed it through the top. Not the actual granny knot, but the little triangle that is formed at the top. Feed it through like so. Tie it off. Now, ideally that loop is a little smaller than what it is here. But as you can see, if I take the pressure of that loop, you can see that loop is sitting to the side. It's actually pointing up right now. Your dragging point is not going to be straight. You see that angle on there. And I found that especially with lures that have got like quite a small lip that are kind of sensitive to heavy leader material or really stiff material like fluorocarbon, uh, this, lure, uh, this lure knot connection may um, affect that action negatively. So um, let's have a look at the improved version of this one. Let me uh, untie this and we'll continue on. Alrighty, so we come back with the 50 pound lead line here. I hope everyone can see that clearly. I think you can. Um, so when we start off with the uh, loop that we're trying to create, instead of having a single hand, uh, wrap granny, we actually wrap it twice. Like so. 
you make sure you have plenty of tag end to work with here now usually you'll see that the line already starts pointing down even worse than when it's a single rep but this is not where it ends you make sure you got a little bit of room to play with and then what you do is you tie it tie it tie it tie it tie it until it forms an eight like it does right here hope you can see that there we go so you see two entries you see the the coil right here and the coil right there and that's key to having this uh, not line up straight and it works really well so let's grab that jerk bait again well this is a different one let's have a look again this one has a uh, connection ring but this is just for purposes of showing how you can do this so you feed it through the first hole like so the one that's closest to the lure you make sure that the size of the loop is right this is about the size that I would recommend for uh, most lures and then you feed it through the other hole now, if done correctly this doesn't unwrap the actual uh, knot at all sometimes if you if the coil is not done properly and you feed it through the other hole and you tighten it off it actually unwraps and it doesn't hold the uh, the tag end straight so that's something to look out for but this is going to be the result and so now we'll continue on with the wraps just like we did in the previous knot and you only really need to do two when you, your line is this thick so this is 50 pound and it doesn't need much Obviously, if you go lighter, you probably want to have a couple more wraps. But for this example, in 50 pound, this is plenty. All right, apologies for moving it out of screen. I gotta tie this off real quick. And as you can see, if we sharpen it up again, there we go. As you can see, even if I take the pressure off it, that loop sits perfectly straight. And I've had much better result with this connection knot than I have with different knots. That knot doesn't move. It doesn't hang off to one side. Um, for certain options, it may not make any difference at all. So um, don't think that I'm overthinking this. This is for uh, vital for certain lure connections. Uh, jerk baits are great if they don't already have a uh, connection knot. Um, I still don't mind doing this for connect uh, when it has a ring, mainly because if you use a slip knot that ties all the way down to the ring, it actually creates quite a bulky uh, sort of sort of knot right here, and it still affects the lure action because that small diving lip here doesn't catch as much, much water. That knot's in the way, so this definitely helps. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward as you can see. Now all I have to do is trim it. Let me grab a pair of scissors. Or a pliers in this case. Pop your uncle. That was it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that was pretty straightforward. Um, I hope this uh, helps you with um, your jerkbait connections or whatever other lure you may be using. Um, if you have any questions, obviously just let me know and um, go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.